I don't know what possessed me to make a new background picture for you in this, but what the heck. Hi guys, it's week 15. We're going to be multiplying with fractions. That skill is so much easier than what we've been doing. You're going to freak out. And we're going to start it off by talking about fraction of a set. Remember when we say something something of another number, that's another way of saying multiplication. And when we're talking about fraction of a set, it's basically like saying multiplying a fraction by a whole number. But in fifth grade, they like you to do it with pictures. So what you're seeing on the screen is eight grumpy grandpas. And let's pretend that three-fourths of those eight grandpas really like my ugly ponytail. If we want to find three-fourths of eight, that's the same as three-fourths times eight. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at that bottom number. I see that I need to make four equal groups. And if you know your math facts real well, you would be able to know pretty instantly that that means there would be two grumpy grandpas in each group. Now I'm going to direct my attention to my numerator. My numerator is going to tell me how many of those groups to count. I need three of those fourths. So I'm going to color them in so you can see that. There are my three groups. And then I'm going to count up those grandpas. One, two, three, four, five, six grumpy grandpas. So in other words, three-fourths of eight is equal to six. In sixth grade, you're going to do that primarily with just the number sentence. But in fifth grade, they love to give you pictures and love to see if you can figure out how to divide it up into four equal groups and then how to count those groups. Once we do fraction of a set for a little while, we're going to move into the straight up standard algorithm for multiplication with fractions. Look what you do. All you do is multiply across and multiply across and you're done. No common denominator, nothing crazy. We will teach you a little simplification shortcut that makes it a little more complicated, but for the most part, that's all there is to it. What? We're so lucky. And then, as mentioned, in fifth grade, they like you to do it with a picture. So it would look something like this. I have a half, but I only have it one third of the time. So I'm in a shade and a half, and then I'm going to cut it into three equal groups. Looking at this picture, if I can see that I have one half, one third of the time, one of those little pieces is worth how much of the total? Well, it would take six of them to make the whole, so it would be equal to one six. Notice my sixth grade method works just the same for this. And in fact, many of you are gonna find the sixth grade algorithm easier than the picture models. But fifth grade and the state of Texas loves to give you models. So we'll be sure that we kind of toggle back and forth between both of them. They're a match for each other. And then the last thing that we're gonna cover is we're gonna cover multiplying a fraction by a whole number with models that look something like this. So if I have two thirds, five whole times, you'll notice that that's what I'm shading here behind me. I'm using five different colors and I've got two thirds shaded. Now I can count to make sure I've got those five groups, one, two, three, four, and five. And how much do I have all together? I've got three holes and one third left over. Now let me show you that with the sixth grade algorithm. 2 thirds times 5 over 1. Anytime I have a whole number, I can just put it over 1 to make it behave like a fraction. And again, I just multiply across and multiply across. I'm going to end up with 10 thirds. Wait a second, I thought the answer was 3 and a third. It's the same. Remember our little cowboy going into the saloon? 10 thirds is the same as three and a third. And so basically our fifth grade and sixth grade algorithms can be toggled back and forth all week long. We're gonna be moving kind of fast again this week, but it won't be as difficult as last week. And we're really looking forward to getting you some practice with this skill. It's a very handy one to use in life. All right, have a great week.